Okay, this video is going to be on the math tools. Now we can go to the two tools here and we'll see where it says math tools. We have a lot of choices of ruler, square, retractor, and so forth. Now I've already created the icon on my toolbar. Well, I can just click on it. It looks like the calculator. And it's the same icon for the calculator as it is the math tools. First of all, you have your ruler. And if you see that big uh, icon right there, you see it, the cursor changes. One's a rotating, where if you move that one, it rotates the ruler. If you put it on the bottom, it rotates the other way. And if you see the symbol, it just means you're going to move it. Now you do have some choices where you want to go millimeters, centimeters, inches, or none on the top or bottom and change it. Okay, the next tool, um, the square with the protractor is pretty neat. Um, you can have choices here for what you measure, but you can go to the full protractor. You can stay on the half. You can also make it draw an arc. So if you come up here and you have the pen tool. And let's suppose I want an 80 degree angle. There's 80 degrees. If I want it to be closed, no. If he sees this symbol show up, it means rotate it. Okay. What if I want it closed? If I want to make a piece of pie shape here, I'll fill it in. Go up in. Let's make a quarter circle. You could change the color of it. Nice piece of the pie. Okay, let's close that one. Okay, what about the compass? Compass is neat. Remember that you know when your cursor changes, beware it's doing something different. This means move it. Okay, if I grab it here, it just closes it in. If I grab the pencil, it's going to make the circle. Let's close it in a little bit more. Change colors. Grab the pencil. There you go. Next tool. Uh, how about the XY origin? This shows up and it's like, what do you do with that? Well, let's suppose you had some shape here. Let's put a shape. Let's draw one out. And I want to rotate that shape about some point, but I don't want to rotate it from the center. I want to rotate it from a corner or something else different. So I'm going to move this up here. We want, in other words, that's kind of like the tack where I would put the tack. Yeah, okay. can select my tool. Oh, my selector. And here's your rotate. Now watch it where it rotates. It rotates on the XY where I put the dot, where I put the tack. If I move and now rotate it, now it quit spins. That's just where your tack would be if you were rotating something. Now to get that one off, you have to go back and click on it again. Okay, uh, dice roller. You can choose a number of dice that you want. If you just want one die, roll one, and you can output it to your flip chart. Okay, we're just going to give you a number of die. Hope this helps. And of course, you have the calculator. Hope this helps.